What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Yesterday, I released a video called Tommy Sotomayor Allegedly is Broke Living in Struggle Motels. And guess who's mad? Now, of course, I personally, I'm just going to be real. I'm, I'm not very fond of Tommy Sotomayor. I don't really like the guy. Um, but again, I won't take away from, you know, his ability. He was, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, a creative guy. Uh, he was a good YouTuber. Um, but I think he actually thinks he's better than what he really is. Um, and that's been Tommy's problem, which is the reason why he's no longer on the platform, his own undoing. And of course, once this video got back to him, he decided to go onto Instagram and make a rant. And, uh, you know, Tommy's not that good of a roaster. So he comes out with, you know, some of these things that don't make any sense. And of course, I'm not going to obliterate him on my page because I don't want to get kicked off YouTube like he did. But what I'll do for shits and giggles, um, I'll go ahead and I'll play his um, his response to me and then we'll come back. That's what you're upset about. So you keep on talking about a n- that don't say nothing about you and I don't get it. Leave me alone, old face. Yeah, I'm broke, old face. Many people go broke, old face. Since you want to go there for some odd reason, y'all don't have shit. Love to tell other but they should have done with their money. It don't matter. You're just going to keep doing it, huh? Wait, no respond. Why? Every day. He, he should have took all that money. All that money. How many you know how much money I had, dummy? Y'all sit around counting my shit. Y'all are the best accountants in the world. Well, why y'all talking about my money? Do me a favor. Let me see yours. Right now, I dare any one of them making videos about me to do me a favor. Go live right now. Come over here. You're watching the show. I know you're watching it. So do me a favor. Come hit the link. I'll let you up. I'll log into my investments. I'll log and stop. Yeah, see that? There we go. Stop yelling, Chris, but don't worry about it. <laughs> we good. Say something else. <laughs> log into your bank account. I'll log into mine. <laughs> Let's see who got the most in. I'll put that out there. Google what land I own. Look up what property I own. And then look up yours. But you won't. You'd rather sit up there and just say something stupid, hoping that someone, me, responds to you. There is no way in hell grown-ass men will just keep on making these videos. So-and-so's went broke. Isn't that against the whole um, manosphere mantra that men are going around trying to tell other men that you spent money on hoes and went broke? Isn't that against that old face? Old face! Ain't that against that? Or have y'all got a new mantra over there at the Manosphere? That's why I told y'all I don't have nothing to do with that. Because they don't have these things called principle. Principle wouldn't let you sit up there and play no hoes video talking about a man that put money in your pocket. Okay, so you, you've heard what he had to say. Now, Tommy's a very feminine man in the way that he thinks. And... You know, a, a lot of things that Tommy does is, uh, you know, kind of going back and roasting people or attempting to roast people. But he says things that don't make sense. Like, if it wasn't for me, these guys in the manosphere wouldn't be who they are, right? As if Tommy Sotomayor created YouTube, which he's never done anything outside of YouTube for himself or anybody in the industry because he's not a builder. Okay, Tommy, to be fair, the reason why people like him is for the sensationalism. If you have to get kicked off of YouTube a hundred times to get a following because you can't express yourself without cursing or calling somebody here headed hooligans or saying things like that. Yeah, then of course you don't need to be on the platform, but that's what he does. He, he does have some talent. I won't give him that, but he says stupid things like O'Shea wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. That's kind of like comparing Mike Tyson to Muhammad Ali. Could Muhammad Ali say, if it wasn't for me, Mike Tyson wouldn't be there? 
Um, no, because those styles are different in fighting. And if you don't believe me, because Tommy has never had production like this, I want to play a clip of my Dominican Republic video that I did on my main channel to show you how different of a YouTuber that I am than he is, and then we'll come back. So black men are infatuated with Latino women, especially from the Colombian community and the Dominican community. I mean, hell, so many of the black men with passports are always in the Dominican Republic. Sasua and Santo Domingo, to be exact. Now, while black men are out here talking about their desires to date outside, we never look at what these women are being told. Now, outside of me producing for myself, I want you to check out, stop the show. Check out the Pan-African Dating Show channel. I wanna play this clip here. Hey everybody, my name is Jirani. I'm from the United States and I'm in lovely Uganda right now. I'm looking for an African queen. I am 42 years old and a digital nomad. Hi guys, it's Daddy Sims and this is the Pan-African Dating Show, Blind Dates Edition. Today with me, I have six beautiful African girls who are gonna be going on a date with one, Jirani, an African-American male who's looking for love. Will he find love or will he find comfort or will he not like them? That's up for you guys to watch and find out. Hi, my name is May. This is the first time I'm going on a blind date. I'm anxious. I don't know what to expect. But I'm also excited, so I hope it's a good time. So they say the women in Uganda are extremely curvy. Can you rate your curviness on a scale of one to five? I think I'm a five. Five? Yeah. Okay. So as you see, that's the Pan-African dating show. That has nothing to do with my main O'Shea Duke Jackson channel, our Black Manosphere channel. Clearly, Tommy doesn't have the skill set or the intelligence to even pull anything like this off. Even on the documentary that he had, Fathers America, in which he stole money from people, in which he turned off his fan base for scamming them, even he couldn't produce anything that quality of level. And I'm putting these Pan-African dating shows out every week. So if we're going to talk about somebody stole something from somebody, then obviously I would be like him, which I'm not. I'm much more of a well-rounded creator than he is. I'm a much more talented creator than he is. That's my personal opinion. It might not be yours. But also with this whole thing with the manosphere and black men are supposed to work together. Tommy has shown time and time again, he can't work with anybody, which is why no YouTuber that's on YouTube right now, whether it's me, whether it's Tariq, whether it's Kwame Brown, even Kevin Samuels, he can't work with anybody. All right. And see, Tommy has to be a mature man at some point and look at himself in the mirror. Stop being mad at others for your failures. Okay. This is, this is, this is now big bro talking. Let me, let me, let me give you some advice, little bro. Oh, let me, let me sign you real quick. You are too old to be walking around here in a diaper, crying all the time, blaming black women, blaming other people, acting as if you're not a problem. When everybody sees you, has been watching you for years, you don't do what you say. You have very low integrity. You have raised thousands, if not millions of dollars. Help Tommy get out of jail fund, stupid stuff like that. Um, you're out there on the Dallas, Texas, calling black women the B word. And yet when a man steps to you, you're quiet. You don't want to fight. So we, we've seen you doing cowardly things over the years, bro. We're not even going. We're not even going to get in that. Even in my earlier days in the manners, when I saw you doing that, was very unmanly. You're a very unmanly man, very feminine, by the way. In my honest opinion, and your problems that you have from your personal life have followed you to wherever you go. And that's the last video I'm gonna make about you, obviously, because you're no longer big enough for me to make a video about you on my main channel. And what you can do is respond to me on Instagram, which is completely fine. I'll give you some traction today, but. You are where you are because of you. I am where I am because of me. My hard work, what I've put into it, 
my reinvesting you know i don't go around filming pornography videos with only fans models to try to you know get some extra money i don't do stuff like that i actually have a little bit of integrity so how i run the business how you run the business two different things and there's a reason why i'm in the business today and you're not you don't like it take it up with somebody who cares all right you are a fraud a scam artist a bum and you you failed to innovate you kept on struggle streaming, begging for super chats, begging for cash apps, never reinvesting in any talent, which is why guys passed you up in production. They passed you up in content ideas. And instead of, you know, being competitive as a creator, you start trying to say everybody stole from you. That's that's what people say when, you know, they're bums, bro. When they're not good anymore. You think Intel goes around saying that about AMD? You know, AMD came after Intel. One of the things that you don't hear Intel saying is, you know what, AMD came after us. They took our stuff. We may be in similar genres, bro, but there's no comparison you to me. I've never had to go out and denigrate people to the level that you have to get an audience. Largely, this channel and my other channels, I've done it without even cursing people out, without saying one curse word. Can you do that? Absolutely not. You are a shock jock, which you're a very good one. But as far as being in the business, producing stuff that's quality, evolving over the years, that's not what you do, bro. <laughs> that's what I do. So I know you'll respond on Instagram to your two or 300 live viewers, which I won't care about it. You know, it's, it's all good. I mean, I hope you have fun wherever you're doing. And you're no longer on OnlyFans or who you live with your mom or somebody like that. I don't know what you're doing. But up, uh, have fun, begging for change, whatever you do. God bless you. Much love to you, bro. And uh, maybe one day on like one of my third or fourth channels, I'll send you the link for we can do like a little debate or something, you know, and maybe we'll give the money to charity, <laughs> which will end up being you. <laughs> so, but anyways, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.